AMD's biggest big Navi GPU might actually have a chance of matching NVIDIA's RTX 3090. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So during AMD's launch event, AMD decided to show off some performance numbers for their big Navi GPUs which will be having their own launch event at the end of the month on October the 28th, and a user by the name of Planet3D now decided to go ahead and take two of their benchmark numbers from Borderlands 3 and Gears of War 5 and decided to compare them to Eurogames numbers with their RTX 3080, and when we go ahead and take a look at these two games, we can see that in Borderlands 3, the RTX 3080 gets an identical score to the big Navi GPU that was shown off by AMD, and when compared in Gears of War 5, we can see that the RTX 3080 is around 11% faster. So when we go ahead and take these two games, which it's a very limited amount of results here, but comparing them to on average, uh, the big Navi GPU is actually only around 5 to 6% slower, which is actually pretty dang impressive. But I gotta say, I think AMD's holding something back, and here's why. So if we go ahead and we take a look at all the various leaked information that we have so far on Big Navi, which all my sources will be in the description below, but in any case, taking a look, what we know so far, or at least what we think we know about Big Navi, is that it's gonna have 80 compute units running up to 2.2 gigahertz with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory running at 16 gigabits per second on a 256-bit bus, which only comes to 512 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, which, you know, really isn't too much and apparently that's going to be helped by the fact that it's going to have some sort of uh, big cache. It's going to be called the Infinity Cache. And recently over on Justia.com, AMD themselves did trademark the phrase Infinity Cache, so apparently that looks like that is real. And then I believe it's going to have between a 250 to 300 watt TDP. And according to one user over on Reddit who goes by the name of Stabler, he apparently found some clock speed numbers for Big Navi and a Mac OS 11 beta update. And if we take a look here, it actually lists two different Navi 21 GPUs, one labeled Navi 21A and one labeled Navi 21B. And the main difference between these two GPUs is that one's running at 2050 megahertz for a max boost clock and the other one runs up to 2200 megahertz for a max boost clock. So that's actually a pretty significant difference in terms of the clock speed itself. But on top of that, I think what we can expect between these two GPUs is that one's going to be slightly more cut down than the other. So they'll probably both be based on that 80 compute unit die, but I think one of them's going to be running 72 compute units. So in my opinion, what we're seeing here is that the GPU that AMD decided to show off in their event because they're trying to keep their biggest one very close to the chest and they don't want to show us, is I think they actually showed us a 250 watt 72 compute unit version running at just over 2 gigahertz. And I think they're actually saving their biggest big Navi GPU, which will have the full 80 compute units running up to 2.2 gigahertz with a much larger 300 watt TDP. And that GPU, if you do the math, could be up to 18% faster. Now, of course, that's with perfect scaling and things don't ever scale perfectly. So if we're generous, it could be potentially maybe 15% faster. So if the other benchmarks follow suit and we do end up seeing that the Navi 21A from AMD that I think they showed off during the presentation ends up being about 5% slower than the RTX 3080 on average, and then you get a Navi 21B with much higher clock speeds, the fully unlocked die, and then that ends up being 15% faster, well then you're looking at a GPU that's around 10% faster if we're being generous to AMD than the RTX 3080. And you know what else is 10% faster? The RTX 3090. So yeah, AMD could have a GPU that at least in traditional rasterizing performance could be as fast as an RTX 3090, but that's kind of just what I think. That doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be true. I, you know, me and several other th people do think, though, such as not an Apple fan, that AMD is going to be holding back their biggest GPU and that it will be competing with an RTX 3090. But again, I could be wrong, and what they showed us could end up being the full die. And even if that's the case, to be honest with you, if the price is right, if it comes in at like 550 bucks, which I've been saying for a while, that the... Um, GPU from AMD that lands between a 3070 and 3080 should come in at 550 bucks. If it does, well then actually that's a really great deal, even if they aren't as fast in terms of ray tracing. But finally, let's talk about that release date. So obviously at the end of this month on the 28th, they will be having a launch event for the GPU, but you're probably not going to be able to buy it at that date. And according to Yuri Bubbly over on Twitter, who's the guy behind the Ryzen DRAM calculator, and I do actually have quite a bit of faith in the stuff that he posts, though keep in mind he was wrong about the Zen 3 release date. He said it would be on October 20th, and it turns out that it's 
section on November 5th, so he's a little bit off on that. But in any case, he believes that the Navi 2X GPUs or Big Navi will be launching between the 15th and the 20th of November. But overall, like I said earlier, even if Big Navi doesn't end up being the RTX 3080, it falls just a little bit short. If the price is right and they get their drivers correct on launch and their ray tracing isn't, you know, just awful, well, you know what? I think it could still be a much better purchase, but we'll just have to wait until October 28th where hopefully they will show off the biggest Navi GPU to find out. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the AMD is holding back their biggest GPU? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.